All right, Breaker Broke 23. Um, this video pertains to a question that I get uh, fairly often. And I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible, so let's just jump into it. I'm going to use a couple of my favorite devices that I like. Um, these are sound quality-wise and, and uh, ease of use, okay? So the question goes a little like this. Hey, Breaker Broke 23, I have a built-in DAC in my stereo receiver, or I have an outboard DAC. Um, what would sound better, the DAC in the Bluetooth receiver or the one in my amplifier or my outboard one? And I always answer this, I have no idea, couldn't tell you. All right, so here's what I do to find that out. Um, I tell the, the viewer to hook both devices up to the same receiver and then just go back and forth and A, B, compare them. Um, don't listen to internet folklore. Don't listen to the audio file uh, Wizards of Smart on YouTube. Let your ears be the deciding factor. Don't let price cloud you or anything like that. That's why I'm using a couple devices that I really like that are that are fairly low budget. Actually, they're insanely low budget for how they sound and bang for your buck. So I'm using the Shit Modi 3. Um, this is an older piece, few years old, several years old, maybe three or four years old. This is a newer uh, Bluetooth 5.0, Blue Dental BLT HD. This is one of my go-to devices. I love this. And then, of course, down here, I have a hollowed out uh, cabinet and I have an AB uh, RCA switch. Over here, I have the FIO uh, BTA30. This is an older piece of gear. It's now defunct. Uh, the BTA30 Pro is the new version. I have the Pro but I decided to use this one for this test because we're kind of keeping it low budget here, all right? So uh, what would sound better, right? Like, should I just use the DAC um, uh, coming out of here into my, into my uh, modern AV receiver or should I use RCA output? Or in this case, we're going to hook up to an old vintage uh, receiver I have here on my bench. So because I have no uh, or no optical inputs to this, we're going to base all of this on an analog input to that receiver. And I think that's the way most people are actually going to be. But anyway, I, I get this question a lot. Hey, I've got this blank, blank, blank uh, outboard DAC. What's what's gonna help? And my my, my answer is I, I, I couldn't tell you. I don't know. You're just gonna have to A, B, and C. So I'm gonna show you how to do that, all right? So, we're going to use this uh, FIO BR13 just to, to give us a, uh, a starting point here. I just want you all to know that all the optical or all the outputs on most any high quality Bluetooth receiver is going to output all at the exact same time. Meaning this optical output, this coaxial output, and these analog outputs are all outputting at the same time. Okay. And they're that you don't have to do any switching between the two, which is going to make this nice. Um, some back in the day, you would have to flip a switch on the front or back of the of the unit. In fact, I think the uh, yeah the i the iFi Audio Zen uh, Blue V2, which is also one of my favorites, you can switch back and forth. Um, but anyway, most all of them are output at the ex at the exact same time. So what we're going to do here is on the back of this uh, Blue Dento device, I've got my RCA outputs from here to RCA input A on my switcher. I have the optical output going directly into the back of my Ship Modi 3 uh, outboard DAC, all right? Now on the back of the DAC here, but don't mess everything up, this is my optical signal coming from my Bluetooth receiver. And this is RCA output going to B channel on my little switch box. And what we're trying to find out in this particular test, and like I say, this can go both ways, right? But what I wanna find out is, should I just use the RCA outputs from this into my receiver? Or should I go all high tech and go optical from here, right? Optical out 
to my whiz bang DAC into my receiver. What's going to sound best? So I see a lot of guys on YouTube really misleading a lot of viewers and it's really sad. So this is actually why I wanted to really do this because everybody's going to say, well, of course it's going to sound better because you're going through your whiz bang DAC. Well, really? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. That's why we're doing this test. Okay. Um, also, just before we do the audio thing here, let's take this out of the equation and set a nice high-end AV receiver that has optical input. Then what we would do is we would just basically take the audio uh, uh, via RCA and hook it to your auxiliary one on your AV receiver and then take your optical output and plug it into your optical input of your AV receiver and then just switch back and forth, you know, um, auxiliary, optical, auxiliary, optical. That way you can make a true AB comparison, which is basically exactly what we're going to do here. All right. All right. So I'm just going to fire up a song from the computer real quick. I'm just doing a, a actually a really crappy YouTube file, a uh, really terrible uh, MP3 uh, copyright free music. We're not going for audio quality. This is for testing purposes. So I haven't mic'd in to my camera setup or anything. We're just doing raw audio. Uh, I'm using my Technics 404 and I got some uh, Klipsch Heresies on the bench here, uh, out of camera shot, but no big deal, whatever. And uh, I hope it comes through okay. But like I say, we're not going for audio quality. We're just going for testing purposes. And what I want to test is I want to see, does this sound better on its own or does this make it sound better? Vice versa. All right, so let's hit play. Let's do it. Okay, so this is the blue dento going with RCA input to the receiver. This is the outboard DAC going into the receiver. We're gonna flip back and forth a couple times. These things are neck and neck. I know you probably won't be able to make that out on the camera, but uh, wow, like neck and neck. Did I expect that? Yeah, kind of, because I play around with these a lot. I kind of know how these sound now. Um, so I'm just going to tell you right now that the 2-volt preamp uh, output, analog output on this, matches the 2-volt RMS preamp output on this. So what I'm saying is, is RCA output gain is literally exactly the same. So one's not louder than the other. Now, some Bluetooth receivers are like that. Some Bluetooth receivers have terrible RCA output, right? And therefore, this would be uh, uh, noticeably quieter on, on A than this would be. And so if that was the case, when you flip it to B, the volume would go up and be brighter, okay? Or vice versa. Maybe your outboard DAC is not very good. Maybe it has a low output. Maybe you don't like the sound of it, but this is the way to find out, all right? Um, so yeah, look, back when I was selling audio, way back in the day, back in like the early 80s, right? Um, people would say, hey, Mike, what's the best sounding pair of speakers? You know, what's the best pair of speakers? And I would always say, the one that sounds best to you, you know, um, I would get, we would get guys that would come in and buy speakers and I'm not going to say what brand, oh, I'll say it, Polk. All right. Polk audio way back in the day was really, you know, like a, like kind of a trend, like kind of a fad. And I would get people that would come in to demo Polk speakers. And then we would, you know, they would be like, oh yeah, I think I'll take those. And I would say like, do you want to hear the paradigms? You know? Uh, do you, you want to hear the Klipsches? Whatever. And I would switch over to, like, say, the Paradigms that were sitting right next to the Polks. And the guy would, like, you know, think about that for a minute. And he'd go, switch back and forth a few times. I'd switch back and forth. And he'd go, you know, I think the Paradigms sound better, but I'm going to take the Polk. And I call that 
stereophile peer pressure. Yeah, there you go. Stereophile, audiophile peer pressure, right? That guy bought the Polks even though he knew the paradigms or, you know, heard the paradigms and they sounded better. He can't go back and report to his buddies around the water cooler. Nah, you know, I didn't really get the Polks. They, I think the paradigms sounded better. Well, he was strong-armed into buying some speakers that didn't sound as the other as good as the other pair. So that's the way Bluetooth and all this kind of stuff goes. So uh, don't let the uh, internet audio files, right? <laughs> and they're, uh, they're all over the place, man. Don't let the internet audio files bully you into thinking one way or another, um, or that this is going to be light years ahead of this. And then, you know, you hook up like this and you never actually listen to this. Maybe this one was better, right? So another good way to last tip, if you're not really sure you have some, well, I don't care if they're good. I don't care if they're high dollar, low dollar headphones. If you're used to the way those headphones sound, plug them into the headphone jack of your receiver and do this, right? Because you'll, you know, those headphones are, are firing right into your eardrums. You're not having to deal with ambient room noise, um, maybe even pressure, um, uh, barometric pressure or anything like that. Like any of these little factors that can mess with your, uh, with your hearing, um, maybe do it that way. But anyway, always A, B, compare. This is just one idea of how to do it. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry this video went long and I started rambling. But uh, yeah, there you go. Um, anyway, please leave questions or comments down below. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, I would appreciate it if you'd do so. And uh, tell me what you think about this in the comments down below. What do you think about this? Do you like this? Do you have one of these shit modis? I'll leave links to this stuff down below. I'm not trying to pitch anything. What I am trying to tell you is to A, B, compare for yourself. All right? All right, you guys. Cheers. Take care.